Oh, what's up everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man Sean, and today is Friday, and as I told you guys, I want to talk about music resources, tools, and tactics on Fridays from now on, and today I got a music resource slash tool called Feature FM. Some of you guys might have heard of this. I've heard of it a good minute ago, um, actually through a lot of clients having success through it, which made me want to look into it more. Didn't want to do a video until I had personal time to go in and do my own campaigns in the back end, which I will be showing you in this video. And I also have a cool way for you guys to get 500 free plays on the platform, but I'm not going to talk about that to the end of the video either, because I want to make sure I go through basically what it is, what I think the best ways to use it are. Let you guys decide whether or not you're using the platform from there but first let's talk about what feature fm is now the way they describe themselves is basically they say they're reaching music fans while they're discovering music and that's super important what i love about the platform actually but what i'm going to go over in this particular video is two different versions of something that they call sponsored song campaigns and in my mind it's super powerful because it should be the future of streaming campaign marketing so what that basically is is when they say they reach music fans while they're discovering music imagine you're listening to music on soundcloud or listening to music on spotify in particular something like that while you're listening to songs maybe an album finishes they usually go into other songs right they can make your song one of those songs not on spotify we'll get into that but that's basically how it works it's organic it's natural just how these music stations are basically like radio stations like pandora and things like that your songs will be one of those songs that begins to play and it's the full song it's not a snippet so it plays just like any other song maybe that's why they call it feature fm because it's like a regular song on a radio station i don't know that maybe that's where it came from but it's super powerful because when someone hears the song their interaction from there is based solely on the music as opposed to maybe a Facebook campaign or something like that where you're battling all this other stuff you got memes you got funny videos you got people's Facebook statuses same on Instagram and these other websites it's just the music it's auditory and your song is actually the only song playing just like the, any streaming service right they play one song at a time so those of you who decide to use something like this I hope their music is on point now Let's hop right into the back end of me doing one of my campaigns. I'm going to switch to the screen share view for this. All right, everybody, this is basically what the back end of Feature FM looks like um, after you add an artist or two. Now, me, I am not an artist, obviously, and I'm not going to be running campaigns trying to advertise the uh, you know YouTube advice videos on a playlist. So what I did was basically say, hey, I'm going to put about $160 into this. Which artist do I want to get? I got an artist that I work with named Yanni Mo. I'll tell you guys more about that situation later. Haven't done anything um, as far as big campaigns yet, so it's a little irrelevant now. So let's hop into this though, and I want to show you two specific type of uh, types of campaigns. The first campaign I want to show you is a campaign that runs on a website called Eight Tracks, which is one of Feature FM's partners. I don't like this one as much, and I'll tell you why. But I want to show it to everybody, and then I'll. You know show you the other results for the second type of campaign as well so the first song let's say f it up this song right here okay 24 dollars put into this campaign 0.49 percent engagement rate and three engagements out of 611 plays pretty low and it's not worth my time in my opinion you know i got three engagements 20 dollars in granted 600 plays and then most of the plays were in canada 10 were in the United States, which is not ideal when this artist is in the United States. A big benefit of this campaign is it said I got a, about 611 plays on that song. These plays are actually working on your SoundCloud. So what Feature FM does is while it's running on this website, 8Tracks, which is basically a website where people just make playlists after playlists, and it runs that campaign, you can actually use the URL from your SoundCloud song. So all the plays actually get added to the plays in your SoundCloud. So only about half of these are organic SoundCloud plays. The rest of them are from ads, which can be a beneficial thing for those people who are just trying to get their plays up on SoundCloud, especially the people who say, hey, I want to get a decent amount just for social proof so people don't think, hey, nobody likes this song. Well, it's better to at least do ads where you have real people um, do plays, especially since it's relatively inexpensive, as opposed to paying somebody for completely fake plays and then having the same number. If you're going to pay $20 to get, let's just say, 600 or or 1,000 plays, you might as well pay for real people to hear it, even though 
on the back end, in my opinion, it's not as effective as worth it when you look at the engagement rate. But I'm going to go ahead and show you the second type of campaign. So there's this other campaign that runs on a website called Deezer, which is basically Spotify, but it's a lot more prevalent in Europe um, and other countries than the US, but it's actually moving and growing into the US. There'll be, I'll show you proof of that in my results. So look at these plays. For one, $22 got me 1,128 plays versus $20 only getting me about 600 plays for the eight tracks campaign. So that means it's actually less expensive to do a Deezer campaign. But on top of that, this is what I really like. The engagements, I got 69 engagements 6.12% engagement rate versus a 0.49% engagement rate. And a lot of that from what I'm seeing is, in my opinion, also just from how the campaigns are set up on the websites, there's no way for somebody to really natively interact with the song on 8-tracks since the song is actually playing for SoundCloud. They can't add it to playlists and things like that. Whereas on Deezer, uh, I could move it around just so you can get a better idea and see it. This is Deezer. It's playing on Deezer because it had got added onto Deezer. So now it's a song on Deezer. When the ad runs on it, people can actually add it to their playlist. They can actually per press uh, the favorite button and say, I love this song. And I'll get show you the results of that right here. So look at this engagement breakdown. Remember, the other one only had three engagements, period. The eight tracks campaign, the Deezer campaign. This is off of what, $27 if I remember correctly, and I got 35 ads to the favorites playlist. And then I got 27 ads to people's playlist additions. If you're wondering what the difference between do these two types of playlists is, the favorites playlist is basically you being on Deezer, you press the heart button when the song plays because you like it, and that means whenever someone wants to go listen to a playlist of everything that they push the heart button on, that song will be there. The playlist addition is somebody saying, I love this song. I want to add it to a playlist so I can listen to it later. And I want to put it on a specific playlist. So that's great. For $27, you're talking about 35 favorites playlists and 27 regular playlist additions. And then you have album page views. So if you go look at these results, this album ended up getting five fans. And her as an artist, she has 13 fans. And this is only in, in a week, week and a half being on this website. That's why this the avatar is not even there. And I just ran these campaigns. From these campaigns, 13 fans, 5 fans of the actual project. So right off the back, you already know that the campaign on Deezer is a lot better than the 8-tracks campaign. But to you know rub that point in, you can look right here. Sakoni, 500 plays, 2 engagements, right? And that was for $20. I made a mistake and spent seven more dollars on the Deezer version of the Sakoni, but seven more dollars to have 800 more plays, that doesn't add up. So that lets me know for one, Deezer campaigns are cheaper than 8-track campaigns. Also, two, the engagement is going to be better. I got 105 engagements for the Sakoni song for $27, right? That's crazy. Click on these results, and what I like about them is all right, 7.5% engagement rate. But on top of that, what I love about the playlist editions, it means that people are going to listen to it again and again when they go back to these playlists. 42 regular playlist editions. This one got me one artist page view, so that means someone looked at the actual artist page. Remember, I showed you she had 13 fans of her artist page, and then I got one album, well, 16 album page views. And then what's really cool here is this is letting you know there's people, seven, six people skip the song at 69 seconds. One person skipped at 56 seconds. You can see these results all throughout the songs. And then you can also look at engagements. All right. Let me get rid of the skips. So you're seeing one person engaged at a minute, 56 seconds, three people engaged at that period of time, 245. This kind of stuff can help you figure out what's the best part of the song to run a commercial on as well. So I love the data that they give, but even more than that, I love the playlist editions. And that's why this part in this kind of campaign is way better than running the eight tracks campaign. Also, um, I mentioned that traditionally Deezer is more popular in other countries, but you can look at this because I did target it towards the United States. I just targeted 
to United Kingdom and United States. I don't know how that one Israel plague slipped in there, but it did. Somebody jugged me. You see 536 people in the United States. That's still a pretty solid number considering I got 30 engagements. We'll just, I'll show you the F it up campaign one more time. Oh, and actually I forgot. Once the song did pretty well around $20, I decided to keep going all the way to $82.82. And these are the full results. So what that got me was 4,141 plays, 297 engagements, 7.1%. 7.17% engagement rate. Of course, these results are not necessarily um, equivalent to what everybody will get. Some people might have a song that's just better than this for whatever reason, or people like it more. So they might have a higher engagement rate. And some people, they might have a song that nobody likes, and they might have a 0% or a 0.49% like the other um, 8-tracks website. Who knows? I can't guarantee those. But what I do like is, for one, of course, this website is legitimate. Spent plenty of time making sure of that, and I've had several clients get good results from it. So really quickly, I want to go ahead and run through one of these campaigns as far as the setup, just to show you guys what it looks like. You got to name the campaign. You upload the song. It'll have options where if you chose to do it on something like a Deezer, where the song will kind of pop up automatically. You can advertise the song, but then you also have... The target audience, right? I chose United Kingdom and United States for this. The age, genres, that stuff is all kind of straightforward. The interesting part is you're choosing these people and your targets by similar artists as opposed to um, doing some of the other types of demographics. And then lastly, you choose your budget. What do you spend daily? And that's pretty much it for the campaigns. It's pretty straightforward, but I still want to show you guys. They also do show you an estimate that you'll get from running the campaign before it runs. This number has been pretty accurate um, so far. All right, guys, that should give you a pretty decent idea of Feature FM, what it is. I'll be going over one of their other tools later in another video. I did tell you that I do have a way for you guys to get a 500 free plays on the platform. I reached out to them I had to talk with some of their reps to really to help me through and walk through some of this information and really to when I remember I said I was testing the credibility of the platform and things like that. I reached out to them, but I also was able to get a code for you guys to get $10 free. And from my calculations and the campaigns I did, it amounts to about 500 plays. So all you have to do is look at the link in the description below. If you use that link to create an account, it will give you $10 free. It is feature.fm slash brand man shine. That's me you guys all right other than that i hope this video was helpful for you guys i definitely have more resources and tools coming in the future but for now you know what to do hit that subscribe